So say you wanted to have a talking head character like I have here, like an animated version of yourself and you really want to quickly want to make it talk and have it a little bit animated so you can use it for a YouTube channel like I do. I'm going to show you today how to do that in less than five minutes. So I have my Photoshop file uh, opened up here. Character Animator, the software we are using here, recognizes PhD files and you have to set them up in the right way. And this little plus sign means it's supposed to be independent. What that means we will see later. We have the head and inside of it is the face layer. And we're gonna see in a moment why it is set up like this. And inside of this face layer, we have all the elements of the face. Take a quick look at, at the eyes layer. Inside of those, I have eye left. This is basically the white space here. Then we have the outline here above it, also above it. I have a pupil folder. I wanna be able to switch between the iris and the blink. That's why I have them separately in one folder. Then I have the iris, just two layers. The mouth has all the mouth shapes and the naming here is intentional because Character Animator later will recognize these and attach them to the right visims inside of Character Animator. This is just the ears. Then you have the body layer, which is beneath it. And I have my uh, hand animated hand gestures in here. They all are, as I said, hand animated. So in here I have all the frames that I want to be played once the key is pressed. Now what we have to do, we have to load it into Character Animator, which we will do now. Go here drop our PSD file. Now I can, uh, with this property selected, I can click this little scene icon here and, and it will create a scene with this character for us. If I click on the scene on, on the right side, I see, okay, it's an HD scene, 12 frames per second. By going down into this timeline view down here, clicking on my puppet, and now I can go into transform scale and I will only make it 30%. And I want to go into the rigging mode. So I double click the puppet. First of all, I want to click up here on the root puppet. These are all the things my puppet is capable of, but I'm actually not making use of all of these. I will remove this. I will remove this too. You can, you can see you can add more behaviors. I will add an auto blink. Now I'm will select the head, and since it's called head, character animator already tagged this as a head. First thing I'm gonna do is move the origin of this right where the neck joint is. One thing we should do is actually select our body, select the stick tool down here, and draw one over the bottom of our puppet and I can choose that this one is supposed to be fixed. So now if I go, when I go over, the basic functionality of this puppet is going to work. Main thing I'm noticing right now is that my head is warping. So the first thing you might want to do is just click this little crown. This is the same as adding a plus to the layer in Photoshop and voila, it works. It's not being distorted. This is, uh, of course, not what we wanted. That's actually the reason why I have a head layer, but I don't wanna want it to be independent, actually. Everything that's inside of it, I want to be independent. Now if I go over, it actually works. So I'm gonna go down the line here. Uh, we actually don't need these plus signs. I'm gonna go to the eyes. I want my pupil should be independent. I will select this right pupil. I will go over here and say, okay, right pupil. And I click this one, left pupil. And I'm gonna choose this one. This is just the white background of the eye, which will also act as a bounding box for this eye to move around. Let's do this. You can see on the right side, I'm just tagging everything. Let's select the blink and tell it that this is the blink. Eyebrows, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Right eyebrow, same as with the eyes, just tagging it. And the mouth. I have created less visims here on the left side here in this panel than they are available here on the right. So I, I will go through now, I will say O is very similar because I don't have an R, as you can see, I will just say O is also R. So whenever R is triggered, it will just show me the O mouth. And um, I will just do the same here. M is supposed to be also neutral. F is F, D is D, E is okay. A is also R, also L. The neutral is the smile. It's a little bit confusing, but I called it neutral, but it's the smile. I'll go to the face layer. I will take a stick, draw a stick around where the upper teeth are, 
fix it into place. Draw another stick down here. I will take it as a jaw. Now we are coming going to the body. So I will just look for here for now for stuff that I don't want to be distorted by me moving around. Go in, say okay, I want to create a swap set, which means it's gonna swap between these four states that I have inside of this folder. On the left here on the triggers panel, I can actually assign keyboard strokes. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my hands base layer and tell it that's default. And you can click inside of here and assign the letters, select those three layers because those are the ones which are animated inside of here tell it cycle layers and you can set up this behavior down here on the right here let's just click those two since we're finished now we can just press the record button it will count down from three and now we can animate everything and it will record it so that's it this is how quickly you can set up this talking head character which you can use for any kind of streaming or youtube video if you want if you're looking for an in-depth tutorial with everything explained, all the behaviors, all the setting up, the drawing and everything, you should check out my tutorial on that. I have an in-depth tutorial series on how to create a character animator puppet. If you want to support me and you just want to have a puppet, you can check out my Gumroad page down in the description. And of course, you should subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I can tell you my problems. I can tell you my sins. I can tell you my problems. I'm uncomfortable in my skin. I'm uncomfortable with my ends. I'm uncomfortable with my friends. I'm uncomfortable with my drinking. I'm uncomfortable.